this is Emma's Place UK, my name is Emma and welcome and Merry Christmas because it's Christmas Day today, woo! Uh, I'm obviously not filming this on Christmas Day but you're seeing this on Christmas Day so Merry Christmas, I hope you're having a wonderful day with your families and friends, I am spending today with my family, we actually get sort of three Christmases today, we are very lucky, so we're going to have like our first sort of mini Christmas, just me, Luke and Elliot opening our presents under the tree on the morning and then um, we go to my mum and dad's for the Christmas dinner, uh, so we'll have a little mini Christmas there, opening gifts again and giving gifts again and then um, for Christmas day evening tea we will be going to Luke's mum and dad's house and we will have um, a little another little mini Christmas there. So today I'm going to share with you all of the gifts that I have bought my wonderful family and friends, mainly because I just really enjoy giving gifts and I really enjoy telling people and showing people, look, I've bought this for so-and-so and I've bought this for mum and I've bought, got this for dad. And I, I just get really excited. I love giving presents and I love watching people open them and I love seeing their faces. So I'm gonna share with you what I've bought for everybody in my family. So um, the way Luke and I do gifts is I am responsible for buying my family and my friends and he is responsible for buying his family and his friends, but everything comes from sort of both of us. So I am just sort of showing you my side of things. I haven't quite got everything, not quite everything's arrived, but I kind of have to film this now because um, I'm having to wrap up and take a load of stuff away this weekend to Santa. Uh, so so uh, I wouldn't be able to show you it after that, obviously, once it's gone to Santa. So um, yeah, I'm doing this now. There's a few things missing and I will tell you what they are. So let's start with the number one man in my life, my son Elliot. For Elliot this year, we tend to just, for Elliot, when, when it comes to presents from us, we know he's going to get so spoiled by the grandparents and his aunts and uncles and um, his friends and our friends and what have you. We know that he gets really well and spoiled. So we tend to stick with one or two uh, gifts. We don't tend to go too nuts. We're not one of these parents that buys a, a pile, a mountain of presents and spends hundreds and hundreds of pounds on him because, well, for starters, he's only two years old. And secondly, the presents are going to get more expensive as he gets older so if we're in the habit of buying him mountains of presents he's only just going to be dis disappointed as that mountain gets smaller and smaller and smaller so we figure let's start small <laughs> and that's what we're doing uh, so his first gift his big gift which uh, is still packed away in the box which I can't actually show you hmm, great way to start Emma is uh, uh, I'll put a picture here uh, it's a um, like a pretend shop uh, mainly because he really likes shopping trolleys he likes pulling the baskets so we thought well we're getting one for the living room and love it so yeah so we're getting him a little shop it comes with some food it comes with a little trolley that he can pull along uh, that's still in the box what we're going to do is we're going to set it all up on Christmas Eve ready so that he can just start playing with it we're just going to wrap it up in Christmas paper and he can just start playing with it straight away. So that is gift number one. The second little thing that we've got for him is because he is nuts about Fireman Sam and what two year old isn't, I found these in B&M Bargains. I don't know how much they were, about seven pounds, but it's got everybody in. So he's gonna have two Fireman Sams now, but he also is gonna have a Penny, a Norman, a Nurse Flood, and that is Tom. So he's gonna love that. I bet this is the first thing he's gonna play with. I guarantee you it. We've also bought him, uh, cause he's also nuts about Ben and Holly's Magical Kingdom, or Little Kingdom, Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. So some little story books, little Ben and Holly library. We're rounding off the Ben and Holly thing with, <gasps> Some Ben and Holly pyjamas. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, so this has got Gaston and Ben on and it says, let's have lots of magical fun. And then they come with these sort of trousers with the cuffed at the bottom as well. All of his pyjamas are getting a little bit tight and a little bit small for him. So time for some new pyjamas. And to round off all of Elliot's presents, he is getting some chocolate because what kid doesn't get chocolate at Christmas? And Elliot's comes in the in the form of just a load of of chocolate coins. Moving on to the next most equally important man in my life which is my husband, Luke. We are about to spend our very first Christmas as man and wife together. Hasn't really changed anything, if I'm honest, since getting married, other than I've had a lot of admin to do to change my name on everything, and I still haven't finished it all. He has got um, a coffee grinder. 
and he can grind his own coffee beans now and make me some lovely fresh coffee in the morning and what coffee grinder would be complete without actual beans to grind in it another thing that i've bought for luke uh, and this is actually going to be sort of from elliot is a uh, Bruce Springsteen on Broadway has been going for the last year or year and a half, I don't know, but uh, it's being released on CD this year in December. So I bought that for Luke from Elliot, uh, but it's not actually uh, arriving uh, until later on this month. It's not here yet, but that is um, a CD and I got him like a little like a keychain, so I'll just sort of put a little bit of a, a, a picture up for you. So that's going to be from Elliot and um, these are also going to be from Elliot because I like to get Luke some little bits of chocolate. So these are actually chocolate money, but it's the grown up version of chocolate money. It's actually chocolate notes. So um, I thought they were quite funny. I thought Luke would appreciate them. Although, to be fair, thinking about it now, Elliot will probably end up eating them all. Maybe I didn't think that through, but that's for Luke as well. And also, last but not least, Look at all of those mini tubes of Pringles in this one thing. The ultimate snack stack. Doesn't quite, there we go. Oh yeah, I just got it in frame. So uh, this is for Luke. Moving on to my family. So in my family, I have a mum, I have a dad and I have a brother. So starting with my dad, he, is probably the hardest person to buy for. This year, my dad has got, because he asked for it, <laughs> and actually it's a really good idea, a digital tire inflator. Another thing that my dad really likes is music. And uh, so I just picked him up a little cheap sort of Bluetooth speaker. And he's also getting uh, a Super Tramp CD as well that he specifically asked for. And then a few bits from Elliot, uh, Lynx Black, apparently he likes Lynx. He's also got some Turkish Delight because who doesn't love Turkish Delight? It's probably one of the best chocolates ever. Uh, and also, just as a bit of a daft gift, I've bought this. This is one of those umbrellas that sit on your head. Do you know what I mean? One of those things, those umbrellas that sit on your head. Um, yeah, I've got him one of them, just as a bit of a joke really, for when he's camping, in Britain, and it rains because it always will rain. So it's a bit of a joke present, but I think you'll like it. Next is my mum. And I'm most excited about giving my mum her present because she has no idea what I have got her this year. Not a clue. It's going to be a complete surprise and it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. But before we go to the big gift, we'll start off with all of the little gifts. So. All of her little gifts are smellies. Mum loves smellies. She likes body lotions. She likes shower gels. She likes all that stuff. I also happen to have a friend who is a body shop at home manager. Uh, so last time I was there, I went and raided her store cupboard and bought a whole bunch of body shop stuff. My mum this year has got from the body shop some black musk uh, body lotion and some black musk shower gel to match. She also has some Body Shop Body Butter, and this is the Wild Argan Oil Body Butter. And also, just a little candle from the Tills at Primark in Sea Salt and Sage. These are only a pound. These candles are only a pound. Oh, so nice. And lastly, these are face masks. There are six face masks in here and a, like a face mask. That's what this is. This is like a one of those bands that you put on. I'm cute. Uh, so yeah, so uh, don't ask, just mask, face masks. And the PS, de resistance. The big present that I have got my mum this year is this. It's a bit of laminate, but it's what's on the laminate that's important. I've printed this up, I've laminated it, uh, especially it says, mum, you have been bought tickets to see Take That at Birmingham Arena on Sunday the 19th of May 2019 with love from Emma and Luke. And what that actually means is, mum, you're taking me <laughs> to see, take that. So I'm 
taking my mum to go and see Take That next year. And last but not least, off my family, there is my brother. He is a few years older than me. His main gift from me this year, Chris is dead easy to buy for. He's like probably the easiest person to buy for. One, because he always has a very good up-to-date Amazon wish list. If you are somebody who buys from Amazon a lot, you want music or you want books or you want DVDs, Amazon wish list, just make it easy, people. Make it easy on your family. This year, oh, the main thing, his main gift has come from his Amazon wish list, so I know he definitely wants it, is this. Hang on, no, this. <laughs> right way around, that would help. Uh, this is the Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra album. Yes, uh, Jeff Goldblum. We love Jeff Goldblum. He does jazz, and this is jazz. So, yeah. Jeff Goldblum vinyl is his main present. And then from Elliot, got some photo gifts made this year. And one of them is this, because it was free. I only had to pay the postage, bargain. Uh, yeah, it's like a little uh, photo block. It's wood, but it's got a picture of Elliot on it. And then just as some little sort of little stocking fillery things, plus I always do smellies. I've gotten this bath and body wash set from B&M. It has Star Wars on it. I'm gonna buy it, of course I'm gonna buy it. So Star Wars shower gels, and I also picked these up from Primark, Star Wars socks. Who wouldn't want Star Wars socks at Christmas? Uh, you get Chewy, a Stormtrooper, Yoda, I'm gonna guess that that's Darth Vader, and C-3PO. And because you've always gotta buy sweeties, and Chris used to love fudges when he was a little kid, so I bought him some fudges as well. On to friends my friends. So um, Elliot has a little friend at nursery who we have got quite uh, good friends with, with the parents, we message each other, we go on play dates and what have you. So we've got him a little present and I was just sort of thinking about what sorts of things they play with at nursery. So um, for a two year old, if, if you're not sure what to get for them, it's always a good idea to think about what sorts of things they play with at nursery. And a lot of the play at nursery revolves around sort of pretend play, um, and creative play. So I've got a doctor's kit. And now on to my best friend. She was my bridesmaid at my wedding. Here she is. Uh, yeah, she uh, will hate me for that. She, she is my best friend. And I have uh, basically paid for, uh, for Christmas and for her birthday next year, I've said I will pay like half of your ticket to go and see Take That. So we're gonna go see Take That actually on my birthday on the 12th of May. And uh, what I've done is I've actually paid 60 pounds towards her ticket. So I paid 30 as her Christmas present and 30 as her birthday present. And every year, whenever tickets come out, I always say that. I always say, I'll pay a chunk towards your ticket price um, as part of your present. And I won't buy you a Christmas present and I won't buy you a birthday present, but then I always go and buy her a Christmas present and a birthday present anyway. So I've done the same again this year. I can't actually show you it because I've already wrapped it. I wrapped it up ages ago because I didn't want it to get dusty, but also and I, I did think about unwrapping it so I could show you what it is, but actually it's photographs. So it's photos from the wedding that I have sort of ordered. It's a photo gift that I've ordered and it's basically a poster where it's got a number of lots of different shapes and sized photographs from the wedding on it. Um, and it's got pictures of her and myself on, but it's also got pictures of her other half. Of her other half. It's got pictures of her kids on there. Um, and I thought maybe she might not want that on YouTube. So I'm not going to unwrap it and show you it. But this is a lovely big frame, uh, framed photograph that I had made for her with pictures of us looking beautiful at the wedding earlier this year. Angela has... Four kids. They range from uh, little George, who's like a year and a half old. Uh, he's a year younger than Elliot, exactly. And then uh, up to Lewis, who is 16-ish. Uh, is he 16 next year or is he 16 now? No, he's 16 already. Oh God, he's 16, who makes me feel so old. <laughs> he's dead easy. He's 20 pound in an envelope, sorted. Cold hard cash, that's all he wants. Uh, cold hard cash, sorted. Thanks, Lewis, making it nice and easy for me. Uh, second is James. James is 12. He's really into hype 
clothing. If you know Hype or the brand, they're very, very expensive. However, I happen to live very close to where their warehouse is. And uh, a few times every year, they have these amazing sales where uh, it, it's sort of sample stock and excess stock where they get rid of stuff and things are just like marked down to a ridiculous price. He has got some ordinary, some black jogging bottoms. They've got, there's the Hype logo. See, look, Hype logo right there. Um, these are aged... 13. Is he 13? Or is he 12? He might be 13. I think he is 13. I think he's just turned 13. Sorry, James. I also bought him a t-shirt as well. So I got him a cool hype t-shirt. It's like a wave. Next is Reuben. Reuben is an old soul in a very young body. He uh, has got this thing at the moment where he loves a bow tie. He likes to wear, like, like his, his casual wear is a bow tie, a shirt, braces and trousers. He is also currently obsessed with Cars, the movie. Um, and I just sat there thinking, how can I tie these two things together? I wanted to get him a custom bow tie. So I went on to Etsy and this bow tie has been made specifically for Ruben. But I found somebody on Etsy who makes bow ties from material with Disney cars. So, perfect. I thought, perfect. So, so he's got a Disney cars bow tie. This, Ruben, if you ever see this video, this bow tie came from Russia. Just for you, mate. And last but not least, the newest addition to the family was George. George is a year and about nine months old. He's exactly a year younger than, than uh, Elliot is. He is obsessed with Peppa Pig. Why wouldn't you be when you're called George? Um, so he's got some Peppa Pig little library books and I got him That's Not My Meerkat just because the meerkat's so cute but this book's cool because you've got like little fluffy ears and little fluffy cheeks and, and, and like little body look. So it's all sort of tactile things for him to touch and feel. And then they all get a selection box to go with it because you can't give a child a present without giving chocolate. Yeah. That's everything. I have no idea how much I've spent. I've probably spent a lot more than I meant to. So yeah, that is my Christmas sort of haul of, of gifts that I have bought my friends and family. I hope they enjoy them. I hope they love them um, as much as I have really enjoyed giving them. So um, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you're having a great Christmas um, and I go on to have a fabulous new year. I'll see you next time. Bye.